Hi guys, um, so it's currently 11.29 and yeah, I've been having contractions for some time now and I don't know if, if it's happening today or if it's happening at all. Yeah, because I've been having forced contractions, but I don't know if this is the real one. But it's been three minutes apart, five minutes, you know, irregular, but it hurts. <laughs> so I'm just trying to be normal and, uh, you know, wait, I should stop walking. I'm just trying to be normal and go to bed and if it gets stronger we will definitely keep you guys updated of course i will try my best to film but if i can't i'm sorry okay anyway see you guys soon hi guys so it's currently two 13 a.m. in the morning and I have been having contractions since since 11 o'clock or 10 ish and I have also been timing wait I've also been timing the contractions and they've been like six minutes apart lately so I can't sleep <laughs> of course as you can see I can't sleep my bag is already there ready to go to the hospital but I'm just trying to hold on a little bit longer because I don't want to go to the hospital and be sent back. <laughs> I'm just trying to hold on for the contractions to get more and more in. Okay. That was a that was a big one, a painful one. Anyway, it lasted for about 46 seconds and that was the longest 46 seconds of my life. But yeah, we are just waiting for it to get, you know, stronger and closer because now it's just like five minutes apart, six minutes apart, sometimes three. It's a bit irregular. It's not regular. So yeah, we're just waiting for it to get closer and then we will, yeah, that's my back over there and some towels and some stuff on the ironing board. So anyway, I will try to film as much as I can. And um, yeah, we will see.
Hi guys. I know my boyfriend thinks it's crazy that I'm filming and I'm in so much pain, but y'all, I, I don't know. Anyway, we're on our way to the hospital. My contractions are like two to three minutes apart now and it's it's so painful like it's it hurts like crazy anyway see you guys i'll keep you updated if i can oh. mm. hi guys <laughs> so we are at the hospital and we're trying to get in because it's really late and nobody's responding but yeah we will see and um hopefully someone will oh someone is already coming okay see you guys hi guys so update hmm it's currently uh what's the time it's currently seven in the morning and um guess what i'm still one centimeter dilated like after all the after how many hours of pain babe after four hours of pain mm. i'm still one centimeter so Okay guys, um, I have just been given painkillers so I can try to, to sleep a bit and we will see after a couple of hours how many centimeters I will be dilated and uh, yeah, that's the new update. <laughs> See you guys when I wake up. Hi guys, so I just got my epidural and all the pain is gone. <laughs> but I can definitely still feel my legs, still shake my legs, they're not paralyzed or anything. <laughs> and breakfast is ready. And yeah, that's my leg. I can still shake. I can still feel my legs, even though walking is not a good idea right now. But yeah, for those of you who thinks who think you get paralyzed when you take epidural, you don't, as you can see. And also, we're checking checking the baby's heartbeat and the contractions over there. So, yep, yeah. I will definitely keep you guys posted.
Okay, you guys, a couple of hours later, our cute little bundle of joy came into this world, came into our family. After 48 long hours of labor, he is here. You guys, we are so happy. We are very grateful. And yeah, but we couldn't film the birth because of the privacy of the hospital staffs. So we were not allowed to film. But yeah. We're very sorry for that. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and sticking with me till the end. And I will see you guys in my next video. Guys, I'm so happy. <laughs> XO.